Imagine a future where Burkina Faso, a country in West Africa, becomes a leader in nuclear energy. Yes, you heard that right. Under the strong leadership of President Ibrahim Traoré, this dream is turning into reality. This video is going to show you how this bold move is not only putting Burkina Faso on the map, but also bringing incredible benefits to its people. Why is this important? Well, nuclear energy could be the key to solving Burkina Faso's energy challenges, providing clean, reliable power for homes, businesses, and industries. It's a game-changer that could transform the entire region's future. Stick around to learn more about how this partnership with Russia is making history and why it's something you don't want to miss. Before we jump in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you never miss any updates on Africa's incredible journey toward progress. Let's get started. Burkina Faso is making headlines with its ambitious plan to build West Africa's first nuclear power plant. This isn't just a dream, it's happening right now. Thanks to a strategic partnership with Russia's state-owned nuclear company, Rosatom, this project is moving full steam ahead. The construction of this nuclear power plant marks a significant milestone not only for Burkina Faso, but for the entire West African region. To understand the gravity of this development, we need to look at the current energy situation in Burkina Faso. The country has long struggled with energy shortages, relying heavily on imported fossil fuels to meet its electricity needs. This dependency has resulted in high electricity costs, frequent power outages, and limited access to energy for many people, especially in rural areas. For years, the energy crisis has been a major obstacle to economic growth, hindering the development of industries, education, healthcare, and even basic infrastructure. But all of that is about to change. Earlier this year, a group of Russian nuclear experts arrived in Ouagadougou, the capital of Burkina Faso, to kickstart the construction of this historic power plant. The plant, once completed, is expected to generate a significant portion of the country's electricity needs. This is not just about adding more power to the grid, it's about transforming the very foundation of Burkina Faso's energy landscape. The implications of this project are enormous. By 2030, the nuclear plant is projected to double the country's electricity production. Imagine what that means for the people of Burkina Faso. More electricity means more opportunities for businesses to thrive, creating jobs and boosting the economy. It means schools can operate with reliable power, enabling students to study and learn without the destructions of power outages. Hospitals and healthcare facilities will have the consistent electricity needed to provide better care, run advanced medical equipment, and store life-saving medicines. Furthermore, the impact of nuclear energy extends beyond just providing electricity. The establishment of this nuclear plant is also a catalyst for technological advancement and innovation in Burkina Faso. President Ibrahim Traoré has laid the foundation for an atomic energy agency in the country, which will play a crucial role in overseeing the plant's operation. This agency is not just about ensuring safety and efficiency, it's about building a future where Burkina Faso becomes a hub for nuclear technology in Africa. The agency will also be responsible for educating the public about nuclear energy. This is an important step, as nuclear technology often comes with misconceptions and fears. However, with the right education and awareness campaigns, the people of Burkina Faso will come to understand the benefits of nuclear energy and how it can be a safe, sustainable solution to their energy needs. This knowledge will also inspire a new generation of scientists, engineers, and innovators who will drive the country's technological progress forward. Now, you might be wondering why Burkina Faso has chosen nuclear energy, given the concerns that often surround this technology. Isn't nuclear energy expensive? Isn't it dangerous? These are valid questions, but let's address them. Yes, nuclear energy requires significant upfront investment, but it's one of the most cost-effective and reliable sources of power in the long run. Unlike fossil fuels, which are subject to volatile prices and environmental concerns, nuclear energy provides a stable and predictable energy source. Moreover, nuclear energy is incredibly clean. In a world grappling with the effects of climate change, finding sustainable energy solutions is more important than ever. Nuclear power produces no greenhouse gases during operation, making it one of the most environmentally friendly energy sources available. It's a critical tool in the fight against climate change, 
helping countries like Burkina Faso reduce their carbon footprint and move towards a greener future. As for safety, while nuclear energy does come with risks, modern technology has made it safer than ever. The reactors being built today are designed with advanced safety features to prevent accidents and minimize any potential harm. Rosatom, the Russian partner in this project, has decades of experience in building and operating nuclear power plants around the world. Their expertise ensures that the Burkina Faso plant will be built to the highest safety standards. But the benefits of this nuclear partnership with Russia go beyond energy. This collaboration is opening doors in other sectors as well. For instance, nuclear technology can be used to improve agricultural productivity. By using nuclear techniques, Burkina Faso can develop more resilient crops, enhance food security, and even boost exports. In healthcare, nuclear technology can be applied in medical imaging and cancer treatment, providing better healthcare options for the people. And in education, the partnership will lead to the development of programs that train the next generation of nuclear scientists and engineers, positioning Burkina Faso as a leader in this field within Africa. This is a transformative moment for Burkina Faso and West Africa as a whole. The country is not just embracing nuclear energy, it's embracing a future where energy independence, technological advancement, and sustainable development are within reach. This nuclear plant is just the beginning. Other countries in West Africa, such as Ghana, Nida, and Nigeria, are also exploring nuclear energy auctions. Burkina Faso, however, is leading the way, showing that with vision, determination, and the right partnerships, Africa can harness the power of nuclear energy to drive progress and improve the lives of its people. This project also sends a powerful message to the world. Africa is ready to take control of its energy future. By investing in nuclear power, Burkina Faso is demonstrating that it's possible to break free from the constraints of traditional energy sources and embrace a cleaner, more reliable alternative. This is a significant step forward not only for Burkina Faso but for the entire continent. It's an example of how African countries can take bold actions to secure their future and build a better tomorrow for their citizens. Burkina Faso's energy transformation isn't limited to nuclear power. Simaf, a leading cement company in West Africa, plays a vital role in the country's infrastructure growth. As the nation prepares for its nuclear power plant, Timaf ensures a steady supply of high-quality cement for essential facilities, including those needed for the plant's construction. This partnership highlights the synergy between energy and infrastructure development, driving Burkina Faso towards a more resilient and prosperous future. What do you think about Burkina Faso's bold move towards nuclear energy? Could this be the start of a new era for West Africa? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to the African web for more exciting updates on Africa's journey toward progress.